एवरीवन वेलकम टू द अपडेट ऑफ थर्टी फर्स्ट जुलाई इट वॉज अ स्ट्रेंज डे वेयर इलेक्ट्रिकल यूटिलिटीज ऑन वन साइड वॉज द बेस्ट सेक्टर ऑफ द डे ऑयल एंड गैस इट्स फर्स्ट कजन वॉज एक्चुअली द ड्रैगिंग द इंडाइस डाउन मोस्ट द गुड पार्ट अबाउट द पावर पैक इज ऑल प्लेयर्स आर साइजेबल देर इज नो बिग मोनोपोली लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल रिलायंस ओ एन जी सी आर हेयर सो इवन टॉरेंट फार्मा गोइंग ऑफ सिक्सटीन परसेंट टूडे हैड अ साइजेबल इम्पैक्ट ऑन द सेक्टर्स परफॉर्मेंस टूडे वॉज बैंक निफ्टी एक्सपायरी टूवर्ड्स द एंड बैंक निफ्टी शॉर्ट अप द बैंक टूक निफ्टी अलॉन्ग विद इट एज वेल ओवरऑल अनदर पॉजिटिव डे फॉर निफ्टी बैंक निफ्टी एक्चुअली फ्रॉम द ओपनिंग पॉइंट डिड नॉट गो एनी वेयर द ट्रेडिंग रेंज ऑल्सो वॉज वेरी स्मॉल मोस्ट ऑफ द ऑटो स्टॉक्स आर रिपोर्टिंग अ लॉट ऑफ अनसोल्ड इन्वेंट्री एंड इन द बैलेंस शीट दो सेल्स आर राइजिंग द एक्सपेंसिज आर बींग हर्ट बाई अनसोल्ड इन्वेंट्री देर इज अ प्लस एंट्री अगेंस्ट दैट एज एक्सपेंस Now next quarter, if sales are good, then that will be a minus entry and it will aid the profitability numbers. But this quarter, M and M at least, I saw the results. The unsold inventory was a big item. Around twelve hundred crores was the impact. Tata Steel, after a long time, net profit rises fifty one percent. I don't know what was the estimate here, which was missed. Nifty finally a green day. Bank Nifty up as well. Nifty IT up. FIIs continued to sell, and all that was bought by DIIs. Nifty Energy third continuous up day. Next fifty, which is the mid caps, was up nearly a percent. Defence stocks continue to bleed. Only Reliance and Infi were down. Besides, all stocks were up with handsome gains today. Gold, like I have mentioned, is inching towards seventy thousand. Silver up one point five percent as well. One thing I missed: L and T claimed thirty eight hundred today. Closed above it actually thirty eight fifteen. U.S. markets are looking bad. there might be some gains looking at nvidia right now but looking at what nvidia and tesla have lost of late us markets are not looking good at all this week reliance has been really choppy in a defined range but still a lot of up and down tcs moved up hdfc was undecided bank nifty expiry makes banks volatile atl up but fell in a heap towards the end sbi shot up towards the end 874 but sbi is finding it really hard to go to 900 Infosys continues down. HUL opened down, but then it went up. L&T also opened down and then went up. Banks, Kotak Bank had a good day after consolidation. It shot up towards the end. Most banks actually shot up in the end. That's probably because of the expiry part. Indescent as well. PNB, SBI, ICICI a little only. HDFC, Axis was up most of the day. In any case, defence stocks did not have a good day. HL fell. BL fell, Mazgaon stock down, GRSE down, BDL down, Cochin Shipyard down. Data patterns fell towards the end. Overall, the index was down one percent. No lower circuits, however. Look at the metals towards the end. Hindustan Zinc, the parent company Vedanta, Hindalco, JSW Steel, Hindustan Copper. This is probably to do with the Tata Steel results. NMDC down, but sale up. Railway stocks continue to sulk. They have become meme stocks on internet now. Anyone who possesses IRFC and RVNL specifically, people have been really shortchanged in terms of expectations. Now, no one promised them anything here. It was pure speculation that there will be a lot of spending in railways. There may still be. However, that was not covered in the budget. IT Infosys was down. There is a twenty-two thousand crore notice of GST put on Infosys. They have to respond back now. That is huge money, nearly eight billion dollars. Tomorrow, Infosys may crack. Even the GDR is three and a half percent down right now. The fear and greed index did not move much today. Greed is at twenty eight percent. I think it was twenty seven percent yesterday. That's because twenty nine sectors were up compared to twenty yesterday. The best contribution came from electrical utilities. That's the power pack, followed by metals, chemicals, telecom, oil and gas, aerospace and defence, food and drug. They were dragging the indices down. Nifty seventeen stocks down, thirty three up. Airtel, NTPC, Asian Paints, Maruti Suzuki were the toppers. Asian Paints has picked up of late. I mentioned yesterday also. Suddenly it is at the midway mark, actually in the sixty to seventy percent zone. Indescent, however, no respite. It is still sulking at the bottom. Next fifty sixteen stocks up, thirty four down. And there is a news that it will be included in the Nifty next time. So that went up like anything today. As per the news. Indescent is not slated to go out. However, the news is unconfirmed, so don't take any action on that. Today, I bought a little more of satin. The results were good. The EPS, if anyone is following, was same as last time for the simple reason there was huge equity dilution. A lot of stake was picked up by FIIs and DIIs recently, which led to equity dilution in this quarter. 
so profit has gone up eps has gone up but the number you divide with which is the number of shares outstanding in eps that has gone up as a result eps is appearing same so this requires a bit of careful reading i also bought ntpc the power pack has been going up like anything ntpc still is at 18p so even if i'm stuck with it i'm happy to keep it in the long term portfolio i bought little quantity only because most stocks fall as soon as i buy so i'll buy the remaining probably tomorrow day after once ntpc falls if it goes up a lot then i'll just book profits and move out hopefully tomorrow i'll be feeling better and there'll be full coverage thanks for watching i'll see you tomorrow